Okay, we're rolling. <laughs> we're rolling and who starts first? Who's first? Who goes first? You or me? You. I don't mind. Yeah, you, because you're making the argument, so you go first. Okay. Okay. Okay, so when my time begins, I'll, I'll start. Can I see? Yeah, yeah. I'll put it here for that. It doesn't look very nice on the corner. Yeah, okay, yeah? The man with many mics. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's, it picks up your own system. He's got my Okay, so okay. So yeah, the discussion is the deity of Christ according to the Bible. If Jesus is God, we should see him making some divine claims. And we do see that. In uh, John chapter 8, verse 58, Jesus says, Before Abraham was, I am. Now he's drawing this from Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. Because in Exodus chapter 3, verse 14, God says to Moses, Tell Pharaoh, I am has sent you. So God in the Old Testament refers to himself as I am. So when Jesus takes this divine title of I am and applies that to himself in John 8, 58, is claiming to be the God who sent Moses. And the Jews understood what he was saying because in verse 59 of John chapter eight, they tried to stone him to death for what they considered blasphemy. Jesus does this elsewhere. He quotes from uh, Isaiah chapter 44, verse six, where he says, I am the first and I am the last. This is what God said in the Old Testament. Christ once again uses this divine title to refer to himself. Now, if Jesus was just a, uh, a mere prophet, he could not take divine titles of God that only apply to God and apply those to himself. We also see Jesus saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega. We see in John chapter 1, verse 3, that Jesus is in fact the creator of all things. In John 1, 3, it says, all things that were made were made by Jesus. So that must exclude Jesus from creation itself. Therefore, he's not creation, he's creator. In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3, it says that he is the, he is the exact imprint of the nature of God. So according to Hebrews, he shares nature with God. John chapter 1 verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, which can be translated if you put it into a, you know, if you want to use Jesus' name rather than Word, you could say in the beginning was Jesus, Jesus was with God, and Jesus was God. I yield my time, you can have the rest. Okay, so it looks like you, you brought in a lot of um, passages from the Bible which, you, which allegedly claims that Jesus is God. So the very first one that he used was uh, the John 8, 58. And you're saying because it actually reflects Exodus 3.14 where it says I am as well. So if you look at the English translations in Exodus 3.14, it says Ahye Asher Ahye, which is the Hebrew translated as I am who I am. But if you look at the uh, Greek translation, not the, uh, sorry, not the English translation, the Greek translation of the Old Testament, yes, you will see that it says I am he, ego emi o on, I am the one being. This is not the correct translation in English, but in Greek it is correct. So in Greek of the Old Testament and the Greek of the New Text uh, Testament, it does match because it, it says the same thing. So people who, who only rely on English translations, they will somehow say there is a correlation between Exodus 3.14 and Exodus, um, sorry, John 8.58, but that is not true, only in the original. So if you look at the Greek translation, of these particular passages you will see that it does not just say I am in fact if you look at the Hebrew translation of the same but done by the Jewish people you say you say he who will be yes so if you look at certain translations the correct translations are given so do not rely on this because it doesn't make sense that the English translation actually doesn't represent the correct Greek nor the correct Hebrew in both cases <coughs> So that is an important point. Let's say for the sake of argument, Jesus is God, yes? Let's say I give that point to Ben. Perfect. The point is, does Jesus in John 73 and 2017 claim that he has a God? So the, now it is for you to point out to us, why does Jesus claim that he has a God? Okay, thank you. Well times. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. So what he's referring to is what we call the Greek Septuagint, which is the Old Testament in uh, the Greek language. Now, we actually have an Orthodox brother here who's, uh, who can, I'm sure can speak the Greek language. Now, I actually have the Greek on my phone. I have the Greek in, uh, in the Orthodox Bible at my, on, my, uh, on my study desk. And if you read that translation, it is in fact I am. So I don't, get, I don't agree with your translation. I've got the book at home. I can bring it to what you. What does it say? One second, it, what, in, in John in 8, 58. No, no, in, I am. in the Old Testament. Uh, it's my time to speak. Yeah, so yeah. let me have a couple Just of seconds. Just One second. So yeah, you, you can have your time to speak. <laughs> so in, in the Orthodox Bible, which is translated by Greek speakers, it does translate it the way I refer to. Now, I, I want to touch on John 17, 3. Hashim used John 17, 3 to try to disprove that Jesus is in fact God. Um, I don't think that can be done in John because John's gospel has the highest Christology of all the gospels. I'm sure Hashim would agree with me. So you can't use a gospel that starts by calling Jesus the creator of all things 
you can't use that gospel that begins with declaring that Jesus is the creator and then getting to John 17 verse 3 and bearing in mind he ignores verse 1, 2, 4 and 5 because in 1, 2 he identifies God as his own father. He identifies himself as, his, as God's son. The Hashim being a Muslim cannot believe Jesus said those words. He cannot believe Jesus said the words after this either where Jesus says, now Father, give me that glory I had with you before the world began. Now, no mere prophet can share glory with the Father before the world began, considering the Old Testament says God will share his glory with no one. So I, I would like to ask Hashim, why is he using a gospel that starts by calling Jesus the creator of all things? That cannot be done. Okay. If, right, it's not my time. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, it's fine. So also, if you read, um, I'll do my time. Go ahead, go ahead. Right. It's raining, do, shall we stop or? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's good for the cameras. Yeah. Do you want to do it next Well, we, we can do it later. When it's I'm leaving. Are you leaving? That's it. All right, no problem. It's up to you, Let's, calm down. Are you guys okay with the cameras being wet? Because I, I wouldn't want to damage anyone's equipment for the sake of this yeah. discussion. Um, where's Let's, Let me know. Uh, we, we, we've, got an, we've got an orthodox camera, it's all right. Orthodox camera. <laughs> I like the way you say the orthodox. Where's JC? Because he might not want to camera. Yeah, it's, it's raining. I think we should. I think we should stop. Maybe do it next time. Yeah, Ben. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah. We'll no problem. Yeah. You, so to to you come earlier, like I said. You could have done it. I did come earlier, but you were busy. I called you like two or three times. Uh, you said, "I said I'm here." When I when you asked me, guys, cover your cameras. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> can you can you stick down there as well? Yeah. Saved by the rain. <laughs> Mike. Yeah, guys. Take your mic. It's a washout. It's a complete washout. Yeah, I'm gonna make a move. No problem. Yeah, take I'll, care. See, I'll be here next week anyway. All right, take care. Hopefully the weather is better. Yeah, hopefully. Bring your umbrella. Bring your umbrella. Wait, wait. Bring. Well, I can't leave the camera about JC being here. You come off your bed, nice umbrella. Could, uh, Sam, could you hold that over here? Is that okay? For a minute. I don't want his camera to break. Where's JC gone? I don't know. I've got to stay with it until he comes and I'm going to, I'm going to go home. Did you, did you say saved by the rain? Did you say saved by the rain? Why was I saved? <laughs> yeah, I'll just read this read, read the three step two again. The old you, you read it, I read it. Yeah, okay, I've got I've got it at home. In fact, I've got it at home. Okay, bring it next time. That's fine. Yeah. Bring a photograph of that message. It's fine. It doesn't say ego me, it says ego me no, no. Are you wait wait in the old testament or the new testament? No, it does. Yeah. That's what I'm but if you translate that into so if you translate it, if you translate it. Why did the new testament just stop at I am Sam. when you should have said I am the king? Well, because hold on. Because if I okay. It's like if Jesus, for example, if Jesus says that I'm the first, does it therefore not mean he's referring to Isaiah 5 verse 6 simply because he doesn't know You're playing semantics. That's word games, actually. You're, you're, you're making a correlation with the Old Testament, then both should be equal. No, no, he doesn't have to be. He doesn't, doesn't have to be. No, no. There are many places in the, in the New Testament, actually, where the Old Testament is referred to, not in its entirety. Mark chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, the first Isaac. And they're not being sincere with the translation. No, no, you're just playing word games. If you read Mark chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, Drawing from Isaiah chapter 40 verse 3 and Malachi chapter 3. Then they don't know what second. They're not referring to one second. Actually, they're not referring. They're not quoting it. They're not quoting it, they're not quoting it uh, verbatim. They're referring to it. But you still understand what they're referring to. You're, 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 you're playing word games unnecessarily. Well, I need to get I need to get this packed up. Wait, Jay, can you grab JC? Because I can't this can get can, can I uh, guys come on. Can I borrow can I someone Jay, uh, Jay, 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 Jay,